Okay, so here we're going to try and work out the structure of this molecule um, with molecular formula C3H8O from its um, NMR, 1H NMR spectrum. So uh, I think the first thing you should always do when you get one of these is if you look at the carbon to hydrogen ratio here and you can see that this is CNH2N plus 2. So you can see that this is um, this is a saturated molecule. So there's no double bond. Okay, so we don't need to worry about. Um, we know that there's there's no carbonyl group in that. Um, and well, what else can we say? We've got an oxygen in it, so it is likely it could have an alcohol group in it that's pretty likely or it could be an ether linkage which is i don't think it's that um what makes me think it is an alcohol is that we have got this proton would give a peak of integrated value one wouldn't it yeah and that's there and it's in about the right sort of value for the ppm and it's a singlet so i think this is is an alcohol uh, another thing which you may uh, strike you as a little bit odd here is this this peak here which has got an integrated value of six so you've got six hydrogens in the same environment as each other now uh, usually when they're in the same environment they're stuck to the same carbon atom obviously you can't have six hydrogens stuck to the same carbon so this is almost certainly it's two lots of three it's two methyl groups which are in very similar positions to to each other, or in identical positions to each other. There's only three carbons in this molecule. Um, all right, so and we know one of those methyls is there, and the other one has probably got to be there. Uh, and so all that we've got left now is two hydrogens and an oxygen to fill in. So let's put them there and see what this, what the um, spectra would look like okay so let's look at these these ones first of all all right now if we look at the carbon next door here this is this has only got one hydrogen attached to it okay so n plus one rule that means that this this green hydrogens will should give you a doublet and that's what we've got here we have got a doublet there so that's almost certainly what is causing that peak there that doublet um, the ppm value is correct as well because it's about one okay and it should be because these are not near any electron they're not next to the oxygen uh, we also we've already um, established I think haven't we that um, that this is that peak there the hydroxide um, hydrogen so let's just have a think about that one hydrogen we've got to think of there which must be here. Now, would that give us that split into a seven? Would that be split into a seven? Look at the carbon it's attached to. Look at the carbons next door. There are two of them. Each one's got three, so that's six. So six plus one makes seven. Yes, it should be split into a seven. Um, also, is the PPM approximately right? Yes, it is, because uh, this hydrogen is attached to a carbon, which is attached to this oxygen here. So um, that's going to make the PPM about four. So that is our structure is propan 2 ol uh, Let's just have a little look. What would we, the only other thing it could have been, I suppose, is propan 1 ol Let's just have a look at um, what the spectrum for propan 1 ol We'll try and predict what that would look like. Okay, so um, I just draw propan 1 ol here. So CH3, CH2, CH2, OH. Um, we draw... what we think the spectrum is going to look like. Um, okay, right. So, shall we start with these here? That's going to give us an integrated value of three, yeah. Um, it's going to be about one ppm 
because it's a long way from the oxygen. What will the splitting be? Well, we'll have a look. The carbon here has got two hydrogens, so two plus one is going to be a triplet. Okay, so that one there should give us a triplet uh, at about one. The integrated value of that will be three. Okay. Let's have a think about these two here. That's a bit more complicated. There's two of them, integrated value of two, but the carbon has got, it's attached to two carbons. That carbon has got two hydrogens attached. That one's got three hydrogens attached. That's five altogether. So that's going to be split into five plus one, six. That's called a sextet. Um, and that will be fairly close to one ppm um, because it's not a near any um, electron negative. It's not too near to the electron negative oxygen. So, I, so the sextet will look something like this. It's going to be fairly close to the other one. Um, so that will give us that peak there. Um, integrated value here of two. Uh, let's just think about the, the, this, these ones now, okay? Um, these two. Okay, now that they are attached to a carbon which is attached to an oxygen, so the ppm is going to be quite high. It's going to be about four. Uh, what's the splitting pattern going to be? Well, carbon next door has got two, so it's going to be a triplet. So that one will give us a triplet at about four. And the integrated value of that will be uh, two. And then finally, we've got our OH. Um, the OH probably give us about PPM5, and it's going to be a singlet with an integrated value of 1. So you can see propyl 1 ol um, very similar molecule to propyl 2 ol but it gives us quite a different NMR spectra. Uh, we, just look at, we just look at those two together. Yeah, okay. Um, if you looked at the um, infrared spectrum of propen 2 ol and propen one ol they'd be more or less identical. You wouldn't be able to really tell them apart. So uh, here, straight away, the spectra look very different. Uh, shows you how powerful um, NMR is in terms of determining the structure of molecules. Okay.